All right, so this is the Apple Watch Series 9 in this stunning product red color. And this is my long-term review. Hey, what's good? Prash here with my take on the Series 9 Apple Watch. And to start us off, let's get straight into the design. All right, so design-wise, there really isn't much change here with regard to primary physical features. You've got your status button on the right, just below the digital crown with this nice black accent color with the mic in between the two. On the other side, you've got your speakers just chilling by themselves and the plethora of sensors out the back. Pretty stock standard from Apple. In fact, here is my Series 6 Apple Watch as a bit of a comparison and even though there's a difference of three whole generations between the two, there really isn't much of a difference aside from the shade of red used in the finish of the newer watch. Now, I wanted to upgrade and get a newer Apple Watch to replace my older Series 6 Apple Watch in product red. So what did I do? Well, I picked up the Series 9 Apple Watch in the exact same product red color. Yeah, I like to think that I've had pretty much little to no personal growth or development since 2020 when the Series 6 Apple Watch came out. <laughs> Oh well, let's talk about performance. The Series 9 Apple Watch features Apple's latest S9 silicon chip, which is said to have 5.6 billion transistors, which is 60% more than the Series 8. And all of this nerd talk aside, the performance here is great, very fluid, animations are buttery smooth when navigating the UI and moving in between apps. The digital crown feels solid to use, very responsive, the performance here is truly sublime and is what you'd come to expect from an Apple Watch. And much like an iPhone, the well-optimized OS really brings out the best from the hardware of this device. The screen is also spectacular. You get an edge-to-edge -edge Ion X display with a peak brightness of 2000 nits, which is usable in most cases. However, there are some moments where the screen glare from direct sunlight at certain angles does affect screen visibility. I do believe there are anti-glare screen protectors out there which can alleviate this. Now moving on to the sensors, you get a plethora here. You get an ECG sensor, a third generation optical heart sensor, sleep stage tracking, temperature sensors, a high G accelerometer, ambient light sensors, blood oxygen sensors. They really weren't messing around here. Now that really is a lot and I'm going to be honest here, I didn't even use half of those sensors with my time with the watch. But it is nice to know that they are there in case I do actually want to use these features. The performance and heart rate tracking for exercising, however, is something I like to use. An example of this being when I go for a quick run. Now, I'm no marathon runner, but it is nice to get info on my heart rate through a run, my average pace per kilometer, total elevation for a run. The third gen heart rate monitor is also great as it can automatically detect surges in heart rate when you start exercising and it'll ask you if you wish to log a run or an exercise session. The GPS is also great for accurately tracking the distance you run. Now battery life with the Series 9 Apple Watch isn't groundbreaking. I can get up to about two days worth of battery life on a single charge. Now this is just with my normal usage, which is mostly fitness tracking, checking my notifications, um, sending messages straight from the watch instead of my phone, checking the time, checking the weather, things like that, so nothing too crazy. Now, I will mention that I don't really use the sleep tracking features on the Apple Watch, and that's because I just don't like to have a watch or anything on when I am sleeping. But with this additional feature, I do expect the battery life to drop from two days. So this is important to note. I will mention that the assistive touch feature is a nice addition to Apple's Watch OS. It allows for gesture controls. An example of this is using a pinch motion with your fingers to answer or hang up a call. And this is actually pretty useful if you've only got one hand free at a time. All right, so what are my final thoughts on the Series 9 Apple Watch? And I'll be honest, I really enjoyed my time using this watch. I think that Apple has really set the industry standard when it comes to wearable tech, especially with smartwatches. Even after a few months, the performance here has been solid. It's been very responsive. And this is honestly an issue I've had with Samsung watches in the past, where they seem to get laggy after a couple months and they start to stutter, which can get pretty annoying. Now, if you have an older Apple Watch, like a Series 6, a 5, or even a 4 or 3, then I think it's definitely worth upgrading 
because I think the main issue you'd probably be experiencing is just the battery life. I feel like Apple's been pretty good with optimizing software for older Apple Watches. Um, I've got older Apple Watches that still run very smoothly with the battery life being the only real issue. So for me, that would be a primary reason to actually upgrade. As with my Series 6 Apple Watch, which I've had for many years now, I can truly only get up to a day of battery life if I'm lucky and haven't been using it too much. So yeah, I really do feel like you can't go wrong with the Series 9 Apple Watch. And even if you are thinking of switching from the Android side of things to, you know, Apple, the dark side, um, I think it is worth investing in an Apple Watch, as it's honestly a great piece of wearable tech to have in your arsenal. Now, one thing I will mention is that I really do hope Apple tries to focus more on extending the battery life. I feel like the software and the hardware side of things have reached a peak, but when it comes to battery life, I feel like there's still leaps and bounds to be made here. Here's hoping with the Series 10 Apple Watch, that battery life has been greatly improved. So this has been it for my take on the Series 9 Apple Watch. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all took away something from this video. And yeah, if you did, give this video a like, subscribe, and even comment down below what your thoughts are on the Series 9 Apple Watch. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But yeah, for now, it looks like we're out of time. So I'll catch you in the next one.